Welcome to Data Viz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and I want to pick up where I left off in the last episode using a data wrangling tool called Trifacta to address instances where data flows maybe aren't quite enough within Oracle Data Visualization Desktop to address the sort of manipulations that you need to do to your data source uh, to make it more usable from an analytics perspective. And so what I showed in the last episode was using Trifacta to union a number of files together um, where I had files based on different positions within American football to um, you know, combine those all into one data set. And so I have that file here now open within Trifacta and I want to address a couple things additional that I can do um, with this data set. So the first thing that I want to address is the, the sort of profiling area. I glossed over it before, but this is an area that really helps you understand, you know, sort of what's going on with your data. Now, Oracle Data Visualization Desktop will do this too, and I'll point that out in a later episode. Um, but one of the things that's nice here um, within this uh, sort of interface is you get this um, bar beneath every column that gives you an idea of what's going on within the data set. So here we can see that there's 4,696 valid values, but we've also got 244 rows that are missing. Um, where if I click on this, the nice thing that this does is not only will it give me sort of a, a preview, but some suggestions as to how I can deal with that. You know, so I can keep those rows, I can delete them, I can set them to another value, I can derive them into something else. Um, in this case, what I want to do is just, I know these are null rows, um, and I want to get rid of them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this delete option and I'm going to go ahead and add the script. Now what that's going to do is it's going to add another uh, item over here to this script and again you can think of this script as sort of like a little ETL process that will sort of address how to manipulate the file into something better. And what you'll also see is that once I've done that the gray areas here for week, position, name, team, etc. went away. That's because those were issues across um, the entire data set. So once I de deleted it for year, it deleted it for, for all of them. But with pass completion, pass attempts, pass yards, I still have quite a number of rows that have missing values. And that's because if you recall when I unioned my data set together, not all of these um, records are for quarterbacks. So we have running backs, wide receivers, tight ends in here, and they don't pass the ball. So we don't have records for those positions um, with those values. And so what I want to do here is actually do a different transformation. And I want to use the set transformation. And what I'm going to do there is I'm actually going to convert um, the rows where those are um, uh, null to a zero value. So if we come down here, um, we can actually uh, click on those and scroll down. Let's get down past the quarterbacks. So you can see here what it's going to do is actually um, change these null values to zeros. Um, it's a little bit hard to see that within this uh, particular um, uh, window. If I had this filtered better, it would work. Um, but if I click modify here, what you're going to see is it's going to set the column to a pass completion, you know, for pass completion to a value of zero where it's empty. So I could change this value of zero to something else if I wanted to, um, but in this case zero is exactly what I want. And what that's going to do is it's going to change this uh, old pass completion column to this new one that fills in the zero value. So I'm going to go ahead and click add to script there. And so you see that gray area within this went away. So I can also do this for uh, pass attempts and, and keep going on down the line here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select that as well. Click Add to Script. And I could keep doing this um, across all of these particular um, fields. So And this also will hold true for the rushing um, columns as well as the receiving columns as well. But one thing that I want to point out here is, you know, we get the receiving columns and um, what's going to be interesting about this if I scroll back up to our quarterbacks is that in this case, um, it actually changes it for some reason to uh, NA. And here's an example of where I can come in and modify this. 
and actually set it to zero instead of NA, and I can hit add to script. So at this point, I would go ahead and do that for all my remaining columns. I won't sort of bore you with that. Um, and then hit generate results, and that would create a new data set for me that I could then download and install or imp uh, import into Oracle Data Visualization Desktop, which I'll do next time on Oracle Data Viz Daily. Thanks for watching.